Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to be building two robots to get them ready for ARC's November meet and those are, this is a party, my vertical spinner that won uh, the October meet which I was really happy about. This thing doesn't need a whole lot of work, we just need to reprint the chassis uh, and then replace this motor which is uh, kind of on the way out a little bit. I mentioned that in the last video you saw with this but it is very wobbly and uh, not really probably going to stay alive for another whole tournament. So we need to uh, replace that and get that working. And we need to rebuild Annie Are You Okay? Because as you can see, Annie is not okay right now. Um, yeah, so this, uh, this pile of parts is some of Annie, but not all of Annie, obviously. And Annie needs to go completely back together from this state. Now, the other thing I want to do too is change the way that the, um, the weapon mounts to the bottom of the whole robot because as you guys pointed out and then also as I saw over in America, that is a weak point and uh, it's just like it's broken almost every time. So now we're going to be adding some extra aluminium tube. This is just some, uh, I think, 2 or 1.2 mil something aluminium tube and this is actually what the side rails that hold the motors and everything are made out of so we're going to add some more of that in between the two motors and cut some speed holes and or lots of speed holes in it and have the axle for the weapon run through two pieces of alley at the same time uh, because hopefully that will hold a lot better than just the single piece we may be overweight with this but i do have a backup plan if that is the case uh, but I think for now it's time to cut this length down and see what we've got after that.
Okay, so now we have a bit of a mock-up of the new bar and uh, bar mount in place. So that's actually looking pretty good. Everything seems to be working pretty well. The wheels drive around as you would expect. The skids seem to be touching the ground. The bolt underneath here does not seem to be touching the ground, which is really good. And uh, when I actually tighten these bolts up, which they're not tight at the moment, everything is pretty rigid. In fact, the, this side over here where the bolts are tightened, everything is really rigid over there. It's just this side uh, in my, this hand over here, the left hand, where things are a little bit loose because I haven't actually fully tightened these bolts yet. But tightening all that stuff up should actually make the whole chassis a lot more rigid and ready to go. But we've still got our top and bottom plates which are gonna help with the rigidity a little bit. Not a lot, but they are gonna help a little. Um, yeah, so that is looking good. Right now I need to go to the hardware store because I need to get better bolts. As you can see, I kind of, um, yeah, dodged some bolts in here that don't really belong. Uh, so I need to get some better bolts for that. And I need to, yeah, just get some other little bits and pieces done. We need to cut a new base plate that avoids this aluminium uh, channel that we've got going on down here. And then, yeah, this guy will be ready, or Annie will be ready for a, a complete rebuild and then ready for fighting again. So I'm gonna head off to the hardware store. While I do that, I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of the stuff that I've been doing with This Is A Party. Okay, so that is this is a party basically back together. There's a few small things I'll need to do, but I'll probably do them at the event. And those are to put a uh, the roll hoop back in so that it actually drives upside down properly, uh, and also to add some armament to the front wedges and the back. But all of that's going to be very weight dependent. So I think I'm going to do that actually at the competition because they have better scales than I do here. So I don't really wanna push myself over and then have to like peel some stuff off or uh, make a smaller roll hoop or something. 
I just want to have it work basically. So this is the state it's going to end up in for today. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. The new chassis is looking really good. I'm really happy with the way this thing is printed. So yeah, that is pretty good. All right, I think it is time to jump back over to Annie and finish off uh, Annie's build. So here we go, both robots are getting pretty close now, but I am running out of time uh, to film and then edit, so I need to kind of end the video here, and I'll get these guys complete uh, off camera before the next event, which is in a couple of days for me. Uh, so this is a party is basically at 99%, it literally just needs a little bit of extra armor and then the, uh, the upside down hoop, the drive inverted hoop that I'll make out of metal, but like I said, I'll do that at the event where their scales are more accurate and I know that I'm not going to run over by adding too much metal or anything like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool, that's ready to go. Annie, are you okay, is uh, getting there, but is now going to be faced with an interesting challenge. So as I showed you, Annie is now completely see-through, which is kind of cool. Uh, it won't be see-through for very long because of course all of the electronics and stuff are going to go in here and that's going to uh, kind of get rid of some of that see-throughness. But at the same time, uh, I have a bit of an issue with Annie right now. That issue is that there, it was designed for a very specific battery and there's not a lot of room in here. Despite the fact that the Beetle is quite large, uh, it doesn't fit most batteries because there's a lot of internal things going on. So the battery that this was designed for died in America and I kind of forgot about it and then I thought, oh no, that would be right. I'll be able to fit another uh, battery in there. So this is a, a 0.8 5 amp hour uh, battery. The one that's supposed to be in here is a 0 0.8 amp hour battery. This thing does not fit anywhere inside the robot. It will just, uh, yeah, it's just too big basically. So that leaves me with an interesting conundrum. Do I run the whole robot at 2S, which I can fit the 2S battery in, or do I kind of stack batteries in a weird and wonderful way and run the drive on 2S and the motor on 3S and hope that something works or I could try a different way and run the wheels on 2s and then add an extra 2s for the weapon and run the weapon on 4s and it's there's a whole thing that I need to go through and do to try and get the electronics in any working uh, before its fights and unfortunately it's just whatever I do it's either going to be complicated or the weapon is going to be way weaker than I wanted it to be so there's no real win situation here. I basically just needed to order new batteries and I completely forgot that Annie was not gonna be able to fit uh, the big guy in there. But, you know, there you go. Live and learn. 
Uh, yeah, so like I said, we're coming together pretty well. I'm liking Annie's look at the moment. She's, uh, she's looking pretty good. I'm keen to see her fight, but like I said, it's going to take me a little while to get uh, battery stuff sorted out. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that one. Next week, we'll be looking at Annie's fights, and then the week after, we'll be looking at uh, This Is A Party's Fights. So I will see you in the next video.